Hello everybody! It is Gladys here with Love Chat with the Love Twins and I am so excited because today is Friday, Friday Q&A where we come together to answer your questions. Michelle's not here with me today. Let me go ahead and make sure that I can see you on my computer as well. Give Facebook a few seconds to let you know that we're here. And here's what I love about Friday Q&A. First of all, it's Friday. <laughs> and also, it gives Michelle and I an opportunity to see where you're at. Like, what are the questions that you have? What are the things that are maybe keeping you up at night? And how can we best serve you? Because it also lets us know when you share with us your, your questions about love, dating, sex, relationships, all of that yummy, juicy stuff that Michelle and I absolutely love talking about, then we also get a chance to serve you by answering your questions and know what really what is out there what are the what is the what are women's hearts seeking answers to when it comes to love so that's why we love Friday Q&A so um, be looking in your inboxes those of you who are still not on our email list you want to make sure that you that you go to hearts desire INTL, that's Hearts Desire International, INTL.com, and make sure you opt in for our free gift so that you can be on our email list. Hey, Miss Helen, Miss Ellen, I was looking at your last name. Hi, Ellen, so great to see you, love. Let me know if you have any questions. I know we answered a ton of questions last week at the two-day event, the New, Year, New Love in the New Year event, but definitely let me know if you have any questions that have come up this week. I know you've been having a nice time flirting. <laughs> this week from what you shared with me and so yeah so this is an opportunity for us to so that when we do two-day events like the new love in the new year event and our three-day event coming up in may the irresistible woman live that we actually have an opportunity to know where your heart is where your mind is and how we can best serve you by giving you the best information to follow when it comes to love dating sex relationships intimacy um, even breakups unfortunately sometimes that's it and I've actually been helping a couple of women to break up with dignity to break up with their um, with their hearts and their dignity intact and it's been uh, you know breakups are never easy but helping having support and coaching through a breakup is what helps you to be ready to open your heart so that you're ready to love again all right so let me get to the questions. I'm, I, we've been putting them in a document, so I'm just trying to get to that document so that I can answer the question. So one, the first question that I have is, what are the top three things women need to know about men? So it's an interesting question, right? Um, sometimes we get questions for our husbands to answer, and I, this is one of them, but I'm gonna go ahead and answer that. I think the very first thing that we need to know as women that will help you as you're out there whether you're out there dating or you have a boyfriend or you're in a marriage the very first thing to know is that men have very similar fears concerns and limiting beliefs when it comes to themselves and love um, they're human just like we are so as a nature of being a human being <laughs> um, we we all want to be loved we all want to be accepted we all want to um, feel like some, someone wants to share their lives with us and it's no different for a man. And one of the things that we talked about at the New Love in the New Year event last weekend was how you know men put themselves at a very high risk of rejection anytime they even come up to you. As a matter of fact, my son, my 15 year old son uh, today shared with me um, that he went up, you know, he finally got the courage to talk to this cute girl in his class. and. He kind of froze after he introduced himself and said his name he didn't really know where to take <laughs> where to take the conversation from there and I just told him I just acknowledged him for his his courage you know to walk up to a girl not knowing how she was gonna react or respond and she you know she said hi in return but then he didn't know where to take it um, and that's okay I told him look here's what you know now that you can survive that <laughs> that's pretty cool to know right um, so he doesn't have to be scared of it anymore but but even grown men adult men take a big risk when they come up to you to talk to you to ask you for your number to to ask you out on a first date and even more to ask you out on a second date 
because on the first date, you may not have known very much about him or anything about him. If you say no to the second date, you've already spent some time with him. And so it's a little bit, it stings a little bit more. So there's a higher level of risk when it comes to the second date. So that's one thing you want to know about men. The second thing you want to know about men is, is that men who have a good heart, they really do. And you may have heard this, but I want you to really get it. They really do want to just see us happy. So at the New Love in the New Year event and also at the Irresistible Woman Live event, we've talked a lot about the three uh, P's that are most important to men. And the first one is to provide for a woman they care about. And that doesn't necessarily mean just monetarily that, you know, he's taking care of you monetarily, but that he can contribute to your life as well. That there's space and so listen to me hear me successful women out there that there is room and space in your life and your heart for a man that's super important so he wants to know that he can provide for you he also wants to know that he can protect you and that's not just about um we're not just talking about physically protect you like from a bear or a lion or a robber um, but that he can provide protection for you also emotionally. Um, that's why men kind of feel a little bit, they really don't like to see us cry, they don't like to see us hurt, and if they feel like someone else is not respecting us or taking advantage of us, they get angry and we think that they're angry at us. Why are you yelling at me? But really it's inside of their frustration of, of not feeling like they can fix and solve it for us because they are fixers and solvers. That's another thing, but not one of the top three things that you, <laughs> you wanna know about men. And then the third thing, uh, so they want to they want to provide, they want to protect, and they want to please. So they want to know that you're happy. They want to see a smile on your face. And a good man also wants to know that he had something to do with that smile. It really does mean a lot to them. So that's the second thing. The first thing to know about men is that they have some of the same fears, concerns, limiting beliefs uh, when it comes to love. The second one is they want to please provide and protect us. And then the third thing that it's important to know about men, and, and I'm going to say this and I know it might trigger some people, but if it triggers you, ask yourself, why does this trigger me? They really don't like drama. So <laughs> that doesn't mean you don't get to feel your feelings and have emotions, but uh, we talked also at the event last weekend about being dramatic, right? That used to be one of my... Uh, dysfunctional patterns a pattern that doesn't work in relationships is being dramatic looking for drama even when things are peaceful looking for drama even when there's nothing to be upset about creating something an argument uh, something to pick at and so men really want peace and that's one of the the questions that our husbands get asked a lot at our live events and they they say they want peace and I'm gonna add a fourth one because I think it's important we say this uh, we talk about this more in depth at the events but it's important for women to know is that when a man finds you attractive like if he's even talking to you it's because he's attracted to an aspect of you so when he wants to and this is one of the other questions that came so it's related um, when it comes to him wanting to have sex with you hinting around sex um, mentioning that he'd like to have sex any one of those things sometimes we get offended we get upset because there's a limiting belief about men that they that's all they want from us so if you're getting triggered every time a man tells you that you're beautiful you're sexy or he like to you know whisk you away and make passionate love to you now of course if you don't know him it's inappropriate but i'm talking about somebody that perhaps you're dating <laughs> you've been having conversations with if you're getting upset about that just there may be a limiting belief around men and what they want specifically from you but it's very a very natural thing so one of the things that i learned from my husband when he was speaking at one of our events was when he said look if he's even talking to you if he asked you for your number if he even like walked up to you it's because for at least a split second he imagined himself having sex with you and that's not something bad and you know for 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 me um, being with him for 19 years, the fact that he still finds me attractive, that he still grabs me <laughs> when I'm passing by, that he that he still uh, lets me know that I'm attractive to him, for me that's important. But I know that sometimes when you're out there and you're dating, it can sometimes feel like that's all 
that men want and so just check in with your limiting belief because if it really is a strong belief it's possible to actually keep attracting evidence of that and um and it's not something necessary unless you're being disrespected in that case absolutely um it's inappropriate and you don't have to tolerate it but if it's and just notice the energy in which it's being given if a man is letting you know that he wants to have sex with you that is perfectly normal okay so that was a lot of answers to the first question about top three things then i added in a fourth <laughs> that um that women or, or that men um that women need to know about men excuse me that women need to know about men i keep looking down because i want to answer a few more of the questions so another question that i thought was really good is how, what is the best way a woman can let a man know that she's interested in him without pursuing him such a great question right because those women who are interested in remaining in their feminine essence and not being the pursuer and not having to chase or get a man to like them it is important to know how how can i let him know um just today i got a question oh you know i was talking to a guy we talked for a long time and should i text him should i text him to say hi or should i wait for him to reach out and it's really important for for michelle and i to have you all know that we don't believe in rules we don't believe in games we don't believe in playing hard to get any of that stuff it's just manipulate you don't need that when it really comes to love but you do want to go by some guidelines so some of the guidelines that we give are to as much as possible step back so that a man has space to step up so if you're always stepping up stepping up stepping up as i'm getting closer and closer to the camera you can see that the only option that a person has is to step back but if you step back there's space for a man to either stay where he is stand still he can choose to step back also or he can choose to step up but the only way you know if he's gonna step up is if you take a step back not in a game playing way not in a you know manipulative way playing hard to get any of that stuff it's just giving him space because if he does reach out to you you want to know that he reached out to you because he was thinking about you because you happened to cross his mind and so he wanted to send you a text to see how you're doing or say good morning or ask you out on a date versus you trying to get on his radar by sending him the text message first now if he's a polite person he'll probably respond simply out of being polite right but if even if he's responding because he's being polite you cheat yourself out of knowing if i would have waited a little while would he have thought of me of me would he have reached out to me first maybe called me or texted me first so that really does give you an opportunity to again step back see if he'll step up and then be able to receive his attention his time his affection which is a, a heck of a lot less stressful and exhausting than trying to get on his radar, right? And so that's the answer to that question. I have time, I think, to answer one more question, unless there's a question that comes uh, that comes through. Let me see, I see some comments, only love that visual. Oh, the one about stepping up and stepping back, that's awesome, and then that happened this morning. He sent a note saying he was thinking of me. <laughs> Yay, I love it when the evidence comes through on the love chat. <laughs> That's awesome, Ellen. And if you get a moment, how did it feel to receive the message from him versus receiving a response to your message? Like, if you have a moment to just type that up, if you're in a space, a place that you can type, um, that'd be great to hear. Okay, so uh, while Ellen is typing, if she chooses to, it's always voluntary. <laughs> the next question is, let me see. Oh, she put it put a huge smile on my face well I am so happy and I've seen your smile so I know that was a beautiful moment <laughs> so yay I'm super excited for you and you were at the event and we did a lot of clearing and releasing and so there's a whole new energy um, around you and now you've got evidence of that of that irresistible essence I'm so happy sweetheart I'll be texting you later <laughs> to find out more um, so the third one um, I kind of talked about it. That's the one I was saying. Why do, why do some men push for sex on the first date? Honestly, that word push. So obviously with all the stuff that's happening politically and just that's been happening, honestly, quite frankly, I'm not going to get in a soapbox but for a very long time. Um, if someone is pushing you to have sex, 
that's inappropriate. Like, you get, first of all, you are a grown woman. And we talked about this also at the event. I know I keep mentioning the event, but I think it's important for you all to know when we offer another event, you do not want to wait because we cover, I don't even know how we covered everything that we covered in two days, but we did. So one of the things that we talked about <laughs> at the event was um, just the fact that we're all grown women. So none of us are, you know, a 10 year old, a 12 year old little girl who doesn't know what happens when you happen to go into the back seat of a car or doesn't know what happens when you go over to his place to have a drink or he comes over to your place. So one of the things that we that we talked about was just keeping things out in public so that again, not playing games, not playing hard to get, but just to give yourself the opportunity to know is this someone who I want to be kissing? Is this someone who I want literally and figuratively inside of me, right? Someone that I'm going to trust my heart to, my body to. Um they're questions, ladies, that we need to ask ourselves because too many women, and Michelle and I deal with the fallout of heartache all the time. You're rushing into becoming physically intimate to create the illusion of togetherness, of intimacy, of being with someone, and then you're dealing with such unnecessary heartache at on the other end of it. And we, we're all about getting rid of the suffering and the pain you know, just taking all that suffering out of dating and relationships. But if a man is pushing you to have sex with him, that's something that's inappropriate. And if you feel unsafe, take the necessary measures to make sure you get safe. And in the world of being a responsible woman, don't put yourself in situations where you're in private too soon before you really get to know someone or where somebody doesn't know where you are because you always want to be sure that you're being being safe right that you're keeping yourself safe but if a man keeps pressuring i remember a couple of years ago i had a client and she started dating a guy and it was like the entire her experience of the date was that several times during the date and 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 on several dates so i think they had gone out like four times three or four times and several times doing e during each of those four dates she felt like she had to keep like peeling him off of her and she had already said to him that she reserved you know having sex with she waited to have sex with someone until she was in a committed relationship and there's no way on the fourth date that she felt ready to be in a committed relationship with him but also she did explain to him that she felt like it was um it was exhausting to keep having to repeat herself and to kind of have to keep moving his hands and and um and so i told her i said she said should i go out with him again i said i want you to stop for a second and check in you're asking your coach which is a perfectly good thing you know obviously she's she had a coach so i have no problem being asked the question but i also wanted her to listen to what her intuition was telling her i said why would you want to go out with him again like what's what is it about him that makes you want to go out with him and she got really, really quiet. And she said, I can't think of anything. I said, so why would you go out on another date with him? Dating is about getting to know someone so that you can figure out if it's someone that you want to keep going out with. And what you're sharing with me is that you can't even think of one reason why you want to go out with him. And so we did what Michelle and I call the heart work, which is getting to the, really the heart of the matter. And what, what we got down to is she was only dating him. So if she wasn't dating him, she wouldn't be dating anybody. And so I said, so instead of continuing to date someone that you're already pretty sure is not someone that you want to keep having to like fight off during during um, a, a date, because yeah, it's one thing that the man finds you attractive and the other thing is that you're just feeling completely uncomfortable an entire date and multiple dates. I mean, that's definitely a sure sign that there's no need to keep going out with that person. I said, but you also want to be dating other people because when you stop dating one person, you still have this group of great men that you're that you're dating, men who are respecting you and treating you well. So that without getting too far into it, because I also do think that as women, we 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 want to be responsible for our safety, for what for being clear about what we want and what we don't want. And then there's also if you're having the experience. At, 
on any date it doesn't only have to do with sex that it's it's hard and it's like a challenge and you're feeling exhausted by the end of your experience with that person just check in with yourself it's not the only person in the world he's not the only man in the world and he may not be a bad guy but he may just not be the right guy for you and if you keep yourself open and you're dating two or three guys at the same time then you don't get too prematurely attached to anyone and you're able to be clear about wow which is the guy that i really want to spend more time with which one is giving me the experience that i want to have who am i smiling the most with where am i having the most fun and and also know ladies that if you're used to love being hard and difficult and challenging and dramatic the guy who shows up consistently the one who's calling when he says he wants to uh, that he's going to the one who takes you out when he says he's going to take you out don't confuse that for boring it just means you've got a lot less drama going on. So you actually are with a man who's dependable and who does what he says and says what he does. And so check in with yourself on that too, because sometimes when we're used to the men who only give us scraps and bits and pieces of their attention, or we're like waiting, looking at the phone the whole time, hoping that he'll just happen to text. Um, when, a, when another man shows up and he is very dependable, consistent, um, integrous, then many times that lack of drama can be confused for lack of chemistry. And we will do a chemistry lesson on another day. <laughs> we'll talk about the difference between chemistry and attraction. And uh, that'll be a good one. Maybe we'll do that next week. Okay, but for now, I'm going to wrap up. It's time to wrap up. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend ellen thank you for that comment you put the energy that energy the energy that she got at the event uh, or actually maybe from his from his text either one is awesome i helped with my students and co-workers this week okay so it was the event as well the event was so amazing well i'm glad that you were there i'm so glad that our paths crossed i'm excited that you're going to be in the ready to love again program and i hope that you have a very very fun weekend please keep me posted and the same for all of you have a wonderful weekend uh be amazing be your irresistible self and until our hearts meet again always remember that you are loved goodbye for now Mwah.